بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنحتدي لو لا أن هدانا الله Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, my name is Zishan Zaveri and I'll be covering a very important topic known as the state of Ihram. Ihram is a requirement, a prerequisite for, for anybody who undertakes the minor and the major pilgrimage. The minor pilgrimage is known as the Umrah, the major pilgrimage is known as the Hajj. Ihram, not to be confused with, with clothing actually, like not these two pieces of cloths. A lot of people make the mistake and say when they're about to do their Hajj or their Umrah, they say that they're about to wear Ihram. Wearing Ihram is the incorrect term. Ihram is a state that one enters into, similar to the state that you enter into when you're in your Salat. When, after you make your intention, you say Allahu Akbar for any Salat that you do. That Allahu Akbar is known as Takbiratul Ihram. Takbiratul Ihram is things that are forbidden upon you after you say Allahu Akbar because you've made a commitment with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you're starting this prayer and you're going to be concentrated, focused, and inshallah have khushu in your salat. So in regards to, to Takbiratul Ihram, you can't do a few things like, for example, look around, talk to others, various things like that. Similarly, on, on the concept of Ihram and Hajj and, and Umrah, it works the same exact way. So if you're going to Hajj and Umrah, please make sure you don't make the mistake that a lot of other people have made in the past and say that you are wearing Ihram. You're not wearing Ihram. You are entering the state of Ihram. Because our sisters, they actually don't wear these two pieces of cloth. They actually can wear normal, normal attire. They can wear stitch clothing. For men, stitch clothing is not allowed. So we wear the two pieces of clo uh, clothing and uh, we put those on and we put with the we put those clothes on and then we make the intention of entering the state of ihram because if our sisters had to to make the intention of wearing ihram then they'd be wearing the same clothing as us it's obviously a state it's not a it's not a clothing but the clothing itself is is a prerequisite before you actually enter that state so in regards to actually wearing the ihram it's i have a couple of ways that i could show you the the first way is like this open up your your attire fully right here and put it behind you and bring it up here and put it to the side what you're gonna do is you're gonna take take and crease it right here on the side and you're gonna bring it in front of you and you're gonna fold it inside and and you're gonna turn it into a roll right here like a kebab roll This is a very, very strong way of wearing your ihram. If a lot of, a lot of times there's concern that your ihram will fall off. This, I've never had any problems when I, I actually did all of my hajj wearing it like this. I've never had any problems with it falling off or anything like that. So, and there you go right there. And in this section, we are going to be putting on our, our belt. The belt, uh, this belt right here was purchased in Medina, so it has no stitching on there, and, you know, they do sell st stitch, stitch belts. I, put, I refrain from those because, you know, there's a requirement not to wear st stitch clothing, and uh, belts, belts are included, but some fit say it's okay. I just try to refrain areas where there's an area of doubt. So put it on over here and put your belt on, and there you go. You have your you have your ihram, and then you can put your ID card, you know, a small pair of scissors, so you can do taqsir when you exit the exit the state of ihram when you're doing umrah at tamatto, and you can put in you know money if you want to go and have something to eat, you know, with your family. Okay, so that's the first way of doing it. The second way is like this. Take it off again, and. Open it up, put it in front of you, and put put both ends point to point together. And then you're gonna you're gonna close it up right here. You're gonna do this. You're gonna kind of fold it, fold it, fold it, and until you have this section right here. You should have like a little section right here where you can put your belt around once again. And 
Go ahead and fasten your belt, put them inside the loops. And there you go. So once you have your, your belt on, you can fold this section over your belt. And that'll this will be a, a, a great form of security as well. Unfortunately, we have to worry about people stealing even at the time of Hajj. And this can, you know, cover up your belt. And so if you have any kind of, you know, material possessions, and again, Hajj is not about material possessions, but we do have to sustain ourselves while we're there. And that and we we take our families with us. So, you know, just try to be, you know, protective and, and, and not leave yourself exposed and, and, and things of that nature. So that's the second way of doing it. And then you wear your second piece over your, over your top half of your body. You open it up. You put it behind you, put about two-thirds in this hand and probably about a one-third in this hand, and then wrap it over you like this, and there you go. Now you are, you are wearing the attire of Ihram, which uh, now you can, that's the prerequisite, so you can actually make the niyat of it, making the intention of Ihram, which you would do at your respective miqat. Miqat is the station. I made my intention from coming from Medina into Mecca, which was at the, at the Miqat of, of Masjid al-Shajra, which is known as the Mosque of the Tree, which is on, its, on your exit, exit out of Medina. There's a place and there's a Masjid called Masjid al-Shajra. So, inshallah, I hope this has been a, an informative session. And uh, please, uh, if there's anything that has helped you out here, I just hope that you pray for me and my family. And uh, inshallah, till next time. Assalamu alaikum. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد Thank you.